Hi, my name is Laszlo, and today I'm going to talk about um, infrastructure as code support in AWS Code Whisperer. <clears throat> so, Code Whisperer is a tool from AWS which uses AI to uh, offer you code suggestions. So, basically, it's a coding companion uh, based on AI. And until now, Code Whisperer was able to um, help with um, programming in um, the known languages like Python, um, TypeScript, JavaScript, things like that. But it had no infrastructure as code support, so no IAC support. And uh, recently they announced this cap capability that now you can uh, also use Code Whisper to generate uh, infrastructure as code um, um, templates. So you can generate uh, cloud formation, um, a code or um, a CDK, things like that. Um, in this demo today, I'm going to show you how to use Code Whisper to generate a um, cloud formation template for a full VPC. And uh, we're going to see how um, you have to basically structure um, the whole, um, let's say, the comments uh, on how you need to put the comments in to generate the code because it will not work with just um, very generic things. Uh, we're also going to see how correct is this uh, CloudFormation template by basically uploading it to CloudFormation and running it in the engine to see if it can generate the infrastructure for us. So let's get started and let's see this in action. Here I am in Visual Studio Code. So now, um, usually how uh, Code Whisper works, you have to write comments. So here like this, generate a complete VPC with uh, subnets and route tables. And if I do that, um, then uh, basically, and I would have to press Alt-C, to generate something, but it doesn't generate anything if I write just the comment here. So I have to also write resources. And now if I press Alt C, it will give me something. And let's see what Code Whisper gives me. It suggests this, this code. And if I press Tab, then it will autofill it. So you see here it's um, AWS VPC. It generates an internet gateway, an internet gateway attachment, and a public subnet. Um, but I have no route tables here whatsoever, so this is not, in my opinion, a very good template um, for us, because it would probably not even work like this. However, let's delete it and let me show you how you have to do it to get something more, um, more uh, workable. So let's delete this and let's start by creating everything one by one. So for this, you have to know actually what you're doing. Um, but if you take it step by step, it will generate everything for you. So let's start by saying uh, generate code for a basic VPC. And now it automatically fills in. I don't even have to uh, press Alt-C. Um, and uh, I just press Tab a few times and here it is. It has auto-completed um, and it looks nice. It uh, also has the CIDR defined, but this is not enough. We now also need to add an internet gateway and it starts the Autofilling, it, it, it fills out the code for me. So Internet Gateway, I press tab again a few times. Okay, I have the Internet Gateway. I also need to add uh, a NAT Gateway. Add a NAT Gateway. Okay. And now it's generating code, you can see it uh, here. Okay. So I have here the NAT gateway um, and you see it also added an elastic IP and also the public subnet um, which is not what I, which is not something that I asked but 
okay so now it has added also a route table but it just started adding it it did not complete it so what i will do i will delete this one and um, just follow uh, the lead of uh, code whisper so add a public route table it will generate the code okay now again add a private routes table let's see what it generates okay and if we look at these two the public route table has a route out to the internet through the gateway internet gateway and the private one has a route out um, uh, to the internet via the NAT gateway so this all looks fine okay now let's save this i'm going to save this um, file let me go to um, the cloud formation console let's create a stack with this file uh, and i'm going to upload the template file click here uh, let's choose to upload this resources yaml and I have to click here on next. Let's call this um, base VPC. Next. Um, let's click on next again. And then submit. And now it will start creating the resources. Um, you can see Elastic IP, Internet Gateway, everything. Uh, this takes just a bit. Um, you see here we have the, uh, the effective resources. And if you click on it, you can go directly to that resource. Um, some of them already completed. So while this is running, I'm going to just go back briefly to Visual Studio Code to show you something. Uh, I mean, tell you something. So how we did generate this template we used code whisper and code whisper is installed here in my um, ide in visual studio code um, you have basically have to have uh, an, an aws extension installed in this um, uh, visual studio code and then you also have to um, configure your, your credentials and after that it's able to um, generate this code uh, for you and for individuals uh, this is a free service so you can use it for free let's go back just briefly to cloud formation and let's see what happened here we have a rollback in progress well let's see what failed so it failed because um, we have an invalid CIDR so it um, generated some invalid CIDR for this one here um, for the private subnet so let's see why is that so this happens because um, um, here if you look uh, uh, it um, put the CIDR block here but uh, the entire VPC has this range, uh, so uh, slash 24, and this would fall outside of that range. Uh, so here I'm going to modify this to a slash 16, which will then include um, both of these um, uh, ranges. So you see, uh, it sometimes also um, has mistakes. Um, when I first uh, created a VPC, it didn't uh, make this mis mistake, but uh, now it seems it has, and I didn't pay attention that it was a 24 here. So I have corrected now this, and let's go back and um, uh, delete this stack and create another one. So with a, a modified um, file. let's upload the file okay next next oh. basic vpc and now i'm just going to let it run and pause the video until uh, i either i get an error or it is uh, successful so about um, 
two minutes have passed and it seems that the create is complete. If we look at the resources, you will see that we have all the resources, the VPC, Elastic IP, Internet Gateway, NAT Gateway, the routes, everything is in place. And let's actually check this. So I'm going to go to the VPC management console. And here I have my VPCs, the basic VPC with that uh, CIDR range that I specified, uh, the subnets, private subnet, public subnet, uh, the route tables. Uh, in the private routes table, I have a route out to the internet via the NAT gateway. In the public uh, um, route table, I have a route out to the internet to the internet gateway. I have my internet gateway created attached to this basic VPC. And also I have the NAT gateway here uh, with this um, elastic IP, which also got created for us. Uh, so everything seems to be in order. Um, so you could see that um, it generated the code, it made a mistake here. Not, it, not, it doesn't always make this mistake. Sometimes it's correct, sometimes it's not. Uh, this is how generative AI works. So um, yeah, um, sometimes you get errors, you have to pay attention. Also, you see that you have to know what you're doing. You have to add the steps as comments and then it will actually create the code for you. Now, I, just one more thing I want to show you here. So add a security group with port 22 closed. And um, you're going to see what Code Whisperer does here. Um, it generated the security group and I asked, specifically asked port 22 closed it always opens it to the entire internet. So no matter how I tried the queries, it was always um, available from, from the whole internet. So this is something which is also, from my perspective, bad. But if you know what you're doing, uh, then uh, you can just correct this uh, and um, um, go ahead with the other stuff. So if you think about it, um, this is a very useful tool uh, for productivity, especially. Uh, you still have to know what you're doing, but it can help you tremendously to uh, speed up your work. So um, just generate some boilerplate stuff if you need it. Uh, that's what I'm going to use it for at least. So um, this is how um, Code Whisper generates infrastructure as code uh, templates, cloud formation in this case. Uh, you can try it out with other uh, um, things like uh, CDK, Terraform, um, uh, other uh, tools like this. So, I think that's it for today. Hopefully, you learned something new today. Uh, and I hope to see you soon with another video on Code Whisperer and how you can make security remediations in your code with Code Whisperer. Until then, have a great day and see you soon.